Currently on the screen is another view of the International Space Station flying across Australia earlier today. Here's a Friday the 13th of July. 2018. Welcome to another update on what is a very quiet Australian weather scene via the Force 13 Australia Oceania Channel, but it's not quite in the Northern Hemisphere with another three areas of interest up there in the Westpac. And a special thank you to Mark's Weather. Uh, Mark uh, provides Force 13 with uh, some graphics. Uh, we're looking at the Australian and New Zealand continents. And this is total temperature and the overnight temperature. Bureau Meteorology's uh, 12 hour rainfall. not much uh, going on although once again it's a state of Tasmania and you can definitely see the green to light Blue. Bureau's total forecast of rain, rainfall scale, right hand side of the screen. And it looks like it's going to be the South Gippsland or South East Gippsland region offshore from Victoria. And the picture really hasn't changed in the Papua New Guinea region when you look at the blue. Gale warning it remains in place for the remainder of today for the Illawarra, Batemans and Eden Coast. Strong wind warning also in place for Macquarie, Hunter and Sydney Coast. The BSCH uh, website is the GFS wind model. Wind speed in knots, bottom of the screen, and this is from 1 a.m. through to about 10 a.m. tomorrow, and these are in three hourly periods. Pivotal Weather website is the precipitation out to 192 hours and it's the GFS model. Now the Joy Time Food Warning Center, the Yellow is low, medium, high in red. 92W has a better chance at this point in time than 94W. And there's also 93W, so 92, 94, 93, Tropical Cyclone Formation Probability Guide. All non-official 
whether information needs to have caution applied. Here's a look at the NOAA floaters on 92W. And 92W, when you look at the convection, the flowering, uh, I think it's the uh, chances are increasing. Sea surface temperature 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. And we should also keep in mind that former typhoon Pabaroon uh, made the sea uh, a little bit cooler, especially mainland China region for Typhoon Maria. Tropical tidbits, one track, 92W. We will continue to bring updated information on the developing a tropical scene up there in the Northern Hemisphere. And we have a look at the upper level divergence. Divergence at this point in time is around 20 knots. And that applies to both systems at this point in time. Wind shear, red's unfavourable, yellow neutral, green is favourable. Twenty-four hour shear tendency, the low wind shear is the blue, the green and partially yellow. A fifty minute bar vorticity. The storm relative sixty kilometer geostationary water vapor imagery. Force 13 is always on the uh, lookout for those knowledgeable with computers and a graphic design. Storm weather to 16 kilometres microwave base, total precipitable water imagery. And the purple would be the highest value. And the scrutiny scales at the bottom of the screen. And bye for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.